I know him very well. I've covered him in Congress for many years. Yeah, he's West a Dad. very interesting man who's a great tactician, but he's really undisciplined, and it's hard to see him going through a long campaign. Um, so I think Romney uh, is still there, and I think yeah, a lot of people every state where this keep it to the right instead of preparing to get off at the uh, of the Street. Candidate. I know the second off ramp is also a pretty heavy flow. As you get off of New York Ave, I think they'll swing around a lot of them onto uh, M Street. Yeah, you got a lot of brake lights. You get off on D. That far right lane is uh, definitely slower even than the one next to me. A lot of people will spin it off to the right to get onto uh, Capitol. Brake lights as we continue uh, northbound. I'll uh, stick myself in this. So my lane's being held up by one guy uh, trying to get over to the right. Uh, he's the car in front of the car in front of me. So I'm two cars behind him. And he's blocking this lane. Despite many attempts, he could be getting over right now. All right, it's got a little annoying. Oh wait, no, it's actually my lane is uh, veering over. That's right. I forgot about that. All right, so there's my lane veering over to the right. As the other lane had shifted over. Uh, both of them locked up. This headed off to the Second Street off ramp. Currently going 30 miles per hour, accelerating. Uh, speed camera coming up. I'm just under 40. I'm gonna let off before I forget. Speed limit is 45. The guy beside me just did his brakes despite going only about 40 miles per hour. I'm now at 40. Hey, yeah, once you get past Second Street, it's pretty quiet. Um, a major flow. I'm going to try and get myself up there and see what's going on. The other direction, it was really an even split between those headed to Anacostia, those headed to Virginia. Really not many people got off the highway that had gotten on in New York Ave. Uh, as we head uh, north, I think we're going to see a heavy flow that keeps on to M Street. I feel very confident in that. We get a good chunk to see on New York Ave, but I think a loop around from M will be uh, significant. Actually, I noticed last time is you got a lot of people who kept through on M as well, uh, as opposed to swinging around. And I'll say New York Ave is really not that bad of a drive that I'd say staying on M Street would necessarily be justified. I actually, moved pretty quickly on, on uh, New York Ave in the reverse flow direction. Green light just changed over. This is North Bath 395 approaching New York Avenue. I'm going to keep right onto M Street and loop around to start up another southbound run. Time is 8:20, and I should probably have changed my. Uh, camera's clock and roll back our clocks uh, yesterday. Yeah, see, I haven't seen a lot of people shifting. A couple people who shifted left, but I mean, this right lane was pretty consistent. Uh, people are going to keep over to M Street. See, the, the behind me we still have a green light coming off of 395, but we now have a red here, so it's basically wasting half of that green light coming off of 395. Well, not wasting in a sense. They have the, uh, we're in overlap, so the left turn is still going. Uh, not a waste. Especially because we are definitely the lighter flow movement in the morning. Green's picking up now. Uh, as this green kicks on, the eastbound green of New York Ave also starts up a little bit ahead of time. So basically, the the platoon coming from eastbound New York Ave heads into the back of my queue, 
just as we're starting up. So you get queuing through the intersection, but it doesn't actually affect any flow on or off uh, I-395. Passing by New Jersey Avenue. Those are crossing guards in the morning have a tendency to stand in the way if you're trying to make a left turn coming northbound. Uh, notice that at New Jersey Ave as well as at First Street. As you can see, traffic in my lane uh, thoroughly sucks. Only my lane keeps to the right. So you got a lot of people who shift into this lane at the last moment. Sometimes not so much the last moment as they just haven't had a chance because the signals can uh, uh, cut down on the headways you can get into. The gaps, whichever. This is why I think if you're going to keep on M Street, it's a little strange instead of going to be on New York Ave because New York Ave, like I said, really does move pretty well, whereas M Street, you're just sitting in this queue moving bit by bit with that signal. I think I'm actually going to continue along M and see if I can see where these people are going. A New York Ave is really pretty free-flowing at this point, uh, and that's typical, going this direction. Uh, you get slowed down by the signal at Dave Thomas Circle, but uh, uh, it's not too bad. The uh, school thing has turned on. I don't believe it was flashing the last times I've been through here. I'm not going to go down there. I'm going to cut it right here. You can see there's uh, the left turn to get on the first street. We have a green right now, but we can't get on there. Now the green at, at New York Ave just twitched over right now. We have uh, that was about maybe 12 or 13 seconds still for my eastbound green. But you see, by the time that queue clears out and we can pull into it, it's going to be too late for me to turn anyway. Um, they still have a green out there, but the left turn is stuck uh, trying to find a gap, so he's kind of holding up a little bit the throughs. You're getting past him, but slowed down as a result. I think there is room up there for both lanes. He just might be in a bad place. The red just came, came over on uh, New York Ave. There have been a couple bicyclists in the area uh, along New York Ave. This is pretty typical of my daily observations. Uh, it's not a high amount, but I'd say I see roughly one every uh, every loop around. The temperature is about 15 degrees Celsius, so it's not cold, but not warm. I mean, most bicyclists, uh, I think people who really do bicycle commuting wouldn't necessarily be deterred by the temperature. I'm in position for a left turn, and there's yeah, it's not much room to my right, and I can shift over about another uh, two feet to try and make a little more room, but I don't feel comfortable with the uh, room I left. And I got sirens, I don't know where they're coming from. I'm gonna cut this here. 